Hey everybody, hey lovely people, welcome to another episode if you're new here. My name is Apila and this is a platform where I'm sharing my simple set of lifestyle experiences as I'm growing up to my 40s and I also do some set downs or mommy talks, whatever you can call it, but I do some chit chats. So today is one of those days whereby I am doing that mommy talk about the, the most important things to keep in mind before becoming a parent, darling. <laughs> so if you're keen to support the channel please watch the video until the end and subscribe if you haven't subscribed if you want to subscribe and see how i learn how i do things how i mess up how i pull out each lesson on every week and also like the video if you feel like it's a good video or you like it yeah so those things out of the way let's just start guys the first thing relationships get tested baby girl <laughs> Relationships get tested, sis. I don't want to lie. Relationships get tested. It can either make you stronger or tear you apart if you are not working uh, together as a team or helping each other cope, especially if you are both doing this on your own. No parent help, no friend help, no nanny help. It is just really, really a big test because obviously the first couple of months you're going to get extremely exhausted and whenever or tired and hungry at the same time obviously the best mode won't come out on that tiredness and that hunger and the babies you get easily irritated and all of those things you just get to be you your patience will be tested as a couple uh your your characters will be tested you know there are things that you see each other that you never thought existed <laughs> the things that you see each other you never thought it existed uh for instance me i'm like you i didn't know you that stubborn and he was like i didn't know you take things this personal you are so personal girl you are personal so and a lot of things that we get to see i don't know whether it's because we're evolving we're growing up uh, we're becoming adults, uh, things change, people change, you get what I mean? But at the end of the day, uh, throughout all those tests, it's up to you guys how you choose to navigate uh, this journey and the route you choose to take, uh, the ways you feel like could help you cope. For us, we talk about things, we talk about things and see how we can help each other like move forward and we get to like choose each other every day and we keep in mind that it's no longer about us, we are doing it for the baby, we are prioritizing the baby now. Because at times, <clears throat> at times you are like, yo, I never knew I'll be like doing this or I never knew that I'll be like engaging in this but you are like at the back of your mind that it's not for me it's for the baby it's only about him it's not about me anymore it's about also the other thing you might be having different parenting styles <laughs> you might be having different parenting styles for me I have certain values and certain things I want to instill to my baby uh, from a young age and my guy has a different perspective on things on how he wants to raise his child also it's both it's it's us both like trying to navigate how we wanna like do things better for her to get around me. and we find it uh, most of the time we find each other colliding due to the way we would like to like uh, still certain values to our baby. For instance I'm that mama for instance this 
pop off with Zawa would be like at 9 and 10 o'clock I want to switch off the lights I want to like um, instill this mentality to her or let her see as the time goes by that we are sleeping now it's time to sleep now there's a difference between a day and a night and for him he's like this dad who's a who's a free dad they get they get along uh, very well with each other so they will be like playing laughing here's my baby here screaming laughing not wanting to sleep wanting to play and they play together they've got conversations yay and endless conversations and i'm like can you please stop playing with her because now i want her to recognize that it's night time and they get to ignore me of which now it makes things difficult you know in terms of like how i would like things to go and the stuff i would like to like and still on my baby of which he's got a different perspective when it comes to that and i would be like when i have this serious face when i'm like tired now cannot take it i'm like yay i'm losing my patience what do you want from me why are you crying and all that and you'll be like don't yell at my baby don't yell at my baby and all that so we just have different <laughs> thoughts when it comes to it different thoughts and different ways of doing things when it comes to uh baby so we might you might be having different parenting style i felt like this was just the most strong test out of everything that we've gone through the fights we went through the death we went through together this was just the strongest test between us you know having a third human between us adding us uh doing things for the first time trying to navigate this journey together trying to be there for, for each other at the same time so relationships get tested secondly keep in mind baby girl that if finances mm, they they just take a huge toll they work a lot so be financially ready um number one the baby doesn't announce whenever they're about to get sick they just get sick and money is needed to take them to certain hospital clinic or oh, there are expenses that have to be paid along the way if the serene if the the sickness gets serious you know what i mean so uh, obviously uh the the, the, the nappies the food just uh a lot of things need money when it comes to a baby so be financially ready and also when it comes to like the birthing situation <clears throat> the birthing situation you gotta prepare financially to give birth i i always like have this in my mind that uh to get the best quality of things you gotta pay a bit you know what i mean because if you don't if you don't prepare financially you might end up you know on things that you never thought would happen in your life for instance for instance i'm talking from experience my first one doesn't so keep in mind and budget if you want to have a baby or be a parent or parent for the second time or you're curious how things go about when it comes to parenting so guys sorry i got disturbed a bit i had to like go and fetch it so you get less harm to yourself everything is more like about everything is more like about and i found myself recently to just check out myself and i was like you know, I, I didn't even notice that i don't have shoes summer shoes i don't have shoes because like my mindset was like based on hair like focusing on hair and all that to avoid the times you get to like forget yourself and lose yourself at times just keep that in mind that you have less time to yourself at first i used to when i was staying in devon with six ladies and stuff i used to like go out to my favorite restaurant places and try out food i'm a food lover <laughs> and try food just go to my favorite places and just have my me time you know excuse me i just do my me time but now i barely do that i barely do that if i want food most of the time i get to like cook or order it and the last thing i would like to mention that it's amazing it's an incredible amazing journey you get what i mean when you get to see the progress of the growth of your baby the milestone and see your baby is developing no matter the stress you were going through or the feels that you were going through you know you were going you are like the feels you were in but when you get to just see that progress that small thing you know in your baby you just get to smile you just have this heart you just your heart gets to be comforted in a way i would say 
even if it's a love and uh, not long ago was was it was it the beginning of when she was four months she's four months now she's four months now she's completely four months so at the beginning when she was four months it was my first time hearing her laugh you know and i got so happy i was like i didn't know whether i want to cry or what but it's what happens and whenever we go for visits and you can see that there is a huge progress in terms of like how she's developing and stuff it just melts your heart it just it's just an incredible feeling that I am unable to describe, you know. It's an incredible journey. And whenever you just get to like watch her do, watch her personality, you know, and learn her personality a bit, you know. And when you get to like put her down, you may be for like trying to get her to sleep. And for one minute, she's after one minute, she's up. <laughs> We're like, and my guy would be like, every time this happens, my guy would be like, look at your left, slightly look at your left. And I'm like, and then I see that she's wide awake and I try to focus on whatever I'm doing, looking down and whatever. So that uh, hoping that uh, she'll go back to her sleep and my guy will be passing in front of her doing this, <laughs> trying to go down, trying to go down for her not to see him, you know, passing. And then when we look at her, she's wide awake. She is not sleeping and we get to laugh about those moments. It's just an incredible thing. There are countless things I could like mention when it comes to like parenting. So it's not only the scary stuff. There's a lot of good moments. There's a lot of joys. There's a lot of joys to go. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.